Friend. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. It is Thursday, September 29th, and I have just been working all day. I don't have any meetings today, so we've been working from the couch. Um, it is about 1 o'clock. It is exactly 101. I hope you guys enjoyed my last weekend vlog. We're going to get into some more things this weekend. We're going to uh, Louisville, Kentucky for my best friend's bridal shower. It's finally her wedding month. Um, well, on Saturday it will be. But it's finally her wedding month. So that is where we're going this weekend. But first, the reason why I'm starting the vlog on Thursday and not on Friday is because we're gonna be on a podcast today and i am excited but like i've never been on a podcast before which is so weird that like i like don't know how to feel about it because like i've been in movies and tv shows and i'm a published model but like being on a podcast is just different to me i guess i am one of those people that does like to hear the sound of their own voice so <laughs> um yeah that's what we're doing today i will leave I don't know when the episode will be live, but whenever he gives me the link for it, I'll put it in the description of this video because it may be after um, I edit this. We're just going to talk about like being a black influencer, being a micro influencer and what it means to do that. And you guys know I still work a corporate job um, and so how I balance that um, successfully, which I don't think I'm doing. So gonna be great to hear somebody else's perspective of how good they think I'm doing I guess I also need to go to the gym I need to wash my hair I am not sure how I'm gonna do my hair for this weekend because I don't know what I'm wearing um, but it's getting cooler here in Dallas the high is gonna be 74 in Louisville which is lovely and I'm literally coming back on Sunday like going there to spend the night basically you guys know how much I love doing that um, so yeah Tomorrow I have to go get my nails done. I just need to fill in. I need to run over to, now I'm addicted to Zara. I wanna go every day. But I wanna run over to Zara because I need a dress for the rehearsal dinner. So, which is not until the end of the month, but I wanna see if I can find something before I resort to ordering something online. And so I need to go to Zara to see if they have anything. Um, I got so many compliments on my dress that I wore to my friend Rose's wedding that was from Zara. Um, I was very nervous about wearing it because I just like majority of the times when I go to weddings I have a vision of what I'm gonna wear like I I can find the vision like my friend Lauren's wedding in Montana I literally planned that out well luckily for me I knew the themes of the days and stuff almost nine months prior to the wedding so I was able to plan out my outfits about nine months out um, and then for Rose's wedding I had I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I had a dress come in, it didn't fit, um, and it like didn't work. I ended up like running to Zara um, and finding that dress. And I, what's crazy is that I saw it at North Park, didn't buy it, because I was like, I don't think that's good enough. Didn't buy it. Went to the Galleria Zara, and I was like, I literally don't have a choice. Like This is the last place I know to go. And I was like, let me just try it on, tried it on, and showed my mom on FaceTime and another one of my friends I showed my mom and I showed one of my guy friends and they both loved it. So I was like, okay, this is the one we're gonna get. So I got that and I got so many compliments on it. It's one of my favorite dresses that I've bought. So um, I wore it with heels. I can't wear it to like dress it down and wear it with like a blue jean jacket and boots this fall. Maybe maybe save it for next fall. Um, Cause I'm just now wearing things that I wore to like people's weddings four and five years ago. I'm just not wearing those things again. So, you know, we gotta give it time. Especially if it's on Instagram, we gotta give it time. I have my bridesmaid's dress. I've had that for almost two months. Um, and so that's in my closet. If it's perfectly, don't need to do any alterations. And if I do on the wedding day, since I've lost some weight since I got it, my mom's gonna be there and she can, um, she can sew me in it if I need to. I um, am gonna go to Williams Sonoma and see if I can find her a gift. Um, 
I saw they had some things on sale the other week that I was there. And so if they, there's something that I have in mind that I want to get her from Williams Sonoma. And if they still have it, I'm going to get that for her and pack it with me. It's kind of heavy. So pack that with me. So it's about 6.15 and I start recording at 7. And so this is what I look like. And I just remembered while I was laying in the bed. Oh my God, my hair is so gross and dry. But while I was laying in the bed that I actually wanted to record the episode in my room because it's like the better background or whatever. Well, my room's a mess, my bed's not cleaned or anything like that. So we got gotta get our lives together. But first things first, I'm gonna do my hair and my makeup. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. So while I'm finishing my hair, I'm gonna be thinking about that. I did like my makeup on TikTok a few, about a month and a half ago maybe. And I was just saying how I'll never be like a no makeup makeup girl i just don't think i can do it that's just not a part of my aesthetic and so um while i was saying that i was just thinking the other day when i was trying to go when i went to the texas a&m game i just posted that uh tiktok and reel by the way on instagram and twitter i was getting ready for the game and i wanted my makeup to be kind of minimal and ended up doing a full face. skims bodysuit and some black sweatpants like joggers um or like their scrunch sweatpants i'm just gonna be sitting down so i didn't want it anything like too distracting i already lean over so i was like don't want anything that's gonna get in the way <laughs> okay so i just got done with the podcast i did it right over there um, my phone died while I was getting ready. My phone died as I was getting ready. So I had to finish getting ready like really fast. So I'm still don't know what I'm going to do about my hair. Like still very confuddled. Ugh, and it's about to die now. Also don't know what I'm wearing. My makeup looks like shit. But it looked good on camera. And so did my teeth. So um, I am the season opener for the next season of the podcast and the um the podcast will re uh the season will come back in um december i think he said december january okay so i'm gonna take a shower and then make some pasta from trader joe's <laughs> It's Friday, September 30th. It's the end of the month. <laughs> um, tomorrow starts a new month. I can't believe, honestly, September went by so fast, but hey, I'm kind of glad a little bit. I have been to Starbucks this morning and I've been working for about the last 20 minutes. Um, we've got a busy, busy day today. I have two meetings, I have a project to present, um, and I need to go get my nails filled in. Filled in. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna get him to take the white polish off, get him to fill in the obviously space, but just with the acrylic that we already have and then just do a top coat and cut them down because I wanna do these same nails for the wedding. Let me back off of my desk because it keeps shaking. I'm gonna do these same nails for the wedding. And so, well, something, something a little different. We're gonna change it up. I wanna do like fall colors because it's an outdoor wedding. My dress is like copper bronzy. And so I wanna do something that's gonna make, that's like gonna tie that in too. I've been seeing people do like the brown chrome tips. So that may be something we do. 
um i will we may add like a little a little pink over it just to make it a little bit pinkier but yeah that's what i'm gonna do and then i've got to run to the mall so i can get her a gift for the bridal shower um because whatever i get her for the registry will go to them obviously but i want her to have something to open for me tomorrow too um and then we've got to wash our hair and we've got to which i could have done this morning i thought my meeting was at noon or i thought it was at 11 it's at noon so i could have washed my hair this morning but it's fine um i gotta wash my hair and then we've got to pack and i've got to figure out what i'm gonna wear um but the podcast last night went great and it's not coming out to december but i'll make sure to link it back in this vlog and to link it um in like the the most recent vlog of the month that were that it happens um and obviously like on my instagram and stuff so yeah the podcast is called behind the filter hey girl hey so we're back from the mall and getting our nails done so i did like a um it's kind of like fall inspired like it's like fall inspired like gumdrops super cute um, I got the inspo off something that I saw on Instagram um, and I just wanted the picture that I saw on Instagram had like five colors and I just wanted two colors um, and this is the the pink color that's underneath is the acrylic that we use um, this is just the color that I use for all my bases at this nail salon the nail tech that I go that I go to knows exactly what color I like um, in the acrylic so that's what we got so I'm home I got the gift for my best friend it's from William Sonoma and I'll show you guys when I'm packing it up because they gave me a gift box and like gift wrap and stuff but I have to make sure it fits into my suitcase because it's a box itself so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna sign the card and stuff here so I'm gonna show you guys that but we need to tackle the biggest thing and that's figuring out what we're gonna wear so I know what I'm going to do to my hair I blew it out earlier um and I thought my ponytail was super cute I never wear my hair in a ponytail like this like a mid ponytail so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to wear it like blown out like this but slick it back and then have like two pieces like curled like this but we're gonna do that tonight and so I know how I'm gonna wear my hair I just need to um, get the right outfit so I need to pick an outfit out I got about 20 ish things out um, to choose from it's gonna be we're gonna be inside the whole time but it's gonna be like a max of 75 degrees tomorrow so it's like truly gonna be fall in Louisville and so I want to wear something that's fall appropriate obviously and we're gonna be taking pictures and stuff so I want to wear something that's fall appropriate so I'm going to figure out what I'm gonna wear I'm gonna let my phone sit on the charger for a little bit and then when I'm wrapping up or like putting together her gift I'll show you guys all of that stuff her usual it's taking us a long time to get back in the to get in the bed um before a trip but i have slipped my hair up i've straightened my bangs i've literally straightened all of it except this part and you can absolutely tell but i'm gonna wait until tomorrow to curl it I can't so i'm packed I figured out what I'm gonna wear. It's the jumpsuit that I was talking about. It's from J Lux label. They don't have it anymore. Um, it's like four years old. But I'll obviously show you guys when I put it on tomorrow. <laughs> this is the big bag that they put it in. So I asked them if they had like stationery. And they do this is what they put their um gift cards in so i'm just gonna write her a little note okay my handwriting is so i think i have good handwriting but i grew up learning how to write in cursive and then switched to manuscript so i still write in like a manuscript cursive mix and if she can't read it i'm gonna have to read it to her <laughs> so they gave me william sonoma wrapping paper a William Sonoma box ribbon and William Sonoma stickers 
So this is what I got her. These are the Classic Stripe Kitchen Towels. It's just a set of four, they're black and white. And then I got her a matching robe, robe, a matching apron, because she cooks a lot. And it says William Sonoma on the top and it has pockets. Super duper cute. And she can get it monogrammed if she wants. My mom was, it's so funny. I went in the Williams Sonoma to get the heavier item. And then when I couldn't find, or when we decided like it was gonna be too heavy, I was like, well, I don't know what else to get her. And um, my mom was on Williams Sonoma's uh, website telling me things that I could get. Cause like when I go in, a st when I go in a store looking for something, like to buy and I already have my sights set on it and then I can't get it I like I like can't think my brain stops working it's not gonna fit it's not gonna fit okay I've been gone all day so I need to load the dishwasher and then I'm gonna run it Okay, dishwasher's done. I need to pack my purse. I'm only taking my, um, I'm only taking my iPad. And so I need to charge that tonight. I'm coming back on Sunday, which that almost didn't happen. I accidentally bought a flight for, um, accidentally bought a flight for Monday. Luckily I was able to change it right away and I was able to, the flight on Sunday was like four hours earlier and it was cheaper. Thank the Lord. I have to remember to do my eyebrows for the wedding. We cannot go looking like this. Okay, now I just need to get me a snack. Oh, no, not a snack. I was gonna actually pick me something to eat. Okay, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's seven, like 10. My little peekaboo thing, my bobs, my bangs. Um, they're not straightened, so I've been putting them behind my ears because they look like Lord Farquaad. But I'm wearing this Essentials Fair God hoodie. Leggings are from Amazon. These are Jordan black and white ones and just like a Zara t-shirt, I think, underneath. Don't mind my house looks a mess. I will see you guys either at the airport or in Louisville. You might think I'm crazy, but I'm serious. It's fine, you know now. Say hi. To my <laughs> vlog. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How stupid do I look? Hey there. So we made it to Louisville. I'm currently in Kristen's office. Say hi. It's my best friend, Kristen. I'm in her office. It's right next door to the hotel. So we're getting ready in the office. Um, I gotta find my dress, leave it, okay, I was, not my dress, my jumpsuit. I was gonna say, bitch, if I left this in Dallas, I was gonna go in this, okay? <laughs> With my hair pinned back. I wasn't even gonna do my hair. I hate you, I made it. Like, I, bitch, I'm here, okay, that's all that matters. Um, okay, yeah, I've got everything that I need. So, I'm gonna start doing my makeup, and I'll see you guys when I look much better than this. <laughs> okay, we pushed the 16, but I don't think we're gonna stop at 16. That means slowing down. Nope. No, it's not. Shit. We're going all the way up to the very top floor. No. Just, we're gonna have to turn, we're gonna, it's gonna be down. We're about to turn around and come back down. I'm stressed, y'all. <laughs>
Logan, say hi. Ski. <laughs> Kelsey. October 4th it's been a few days I'm about to round out this vlog here but I got back home from Louisville on Sunday it was another rough flight but it was partially my fault um but we did have a little a little turbulence I hate flying in those like two-seater um they have a name it's like the Mesa Airlines but they're like the two-seater jet planes that um American has I hate them it literally feels like they're gonna snap in half but I already looked for my flights and booked them for um, the end of the month, so I don't have to worry about that. But so, um, I got home, got Qdoba, because I was hungover, and um, went to bed. Literally got Qdoba, went to bed. Yesterday, I just worked all day. Um, had, a, had a really busy day. I worked all day, and then went to bed super duper early. I think I was in the bed at like 8.30. So, uh, yeah, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friend to tell their friend to tell their neighbors to come be a part of the girlfriends. I'm really enjoying doing these weekend vlogs. So, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Shop all my looks on Like to Know It. Follow me on TikTok. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to say it one more time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace.